friends, welcome to my channel. This is Gloria Parra for Bella Boulevard today. I will be working with this awesome new fall collection called One Fall Day. As you can see, I've already created a layout with it. A couple of elements are already gone, but it's an awesome, awesome collection. And I already have an idea that I want to create here alongside you. I want to create a grit layout. I have this super cute nested dies from scrapbook.com and these are some hexagon pieces and I want to create a layout full of them, okay? You know those photos you sometimes get on Christmas or Thanksgiving night that are really dark. They're not the best pictures, they're a little blurry. So I've got a couple of them of my girl with the turkey, really excited and some other elements from the table, food. And I want to create a layout. It's sometimes hard, but I want to show you how you can make those photos work and create an awesome layout, okay? Those are the perfect photos that you can cut up in shapes like this hexagon, circles, since they are the, the best quality and we can create something fun with them. Okay, for this layout, I'm basically using three sizes of hexagons and you can go ahead and look for your shape dies or I'm using a three and three quarters. I'm using um, three and a half and a three inch piece. Okay, so those are my three hexagon dies. I have some pieces that I already have ready here. Okay, and you can go ahead and place them, play with your colors. If you have some green here, bring some green up. Okay, it's it's important that you that you are conscious of your of the balance, of the colors, the balance. And this is what I'm trying to create with my pictures, okay? I have my daughter trying to eat the entire turkey here. And I like, if I put that one here, it's like it's looking out of the layout. So I want to bring it in the center, okay? This one, she's looking to inside my layout. So that's why I put it there and not, not here, let's say. Okay, because she would be looking out. So just be conscious of those, those things when you are putting together your layout. So I have this here, and I have one more element that I want to place here. You know, I have some orange here, here, so it's like a little triangle. I want some brown up there. I have this little floral. Oh, I added some stitching around all my, my little pieces that go on top. Okay, you can add those. I love this pattern paper with a turkey, and I want that to be in the middle. Okay, guys, to search for my middle placement. I went ahead and did a little mark on my six inch from the sides and from the top, okay? That way I'm gonna be sure to place them in the middle. Okay, so Thanksgiving here in Bolivia is not a popular holiday. It's not something people are used to celebrate. You know, what's really big here in Bolivia is it's Christmas, it's a family gathering moment, but studying and, and having so much influence from the States and my family, we've really adopted and we love celebrating Thanksgiving. Okay, this, my daughter's school, which was my same school, we celebrated, we celebrate Thanksgiving big time. We create turkeys, we make like all the crafts and get ready for that beautiful, holiday in advance so my daughters love it and my mother-in-law makes an awesome turkey it's delicious so she made one for my daughter she like for the family i mean and we had such a fun night everyone went around giving thanks in the table and my daughter created a turkey which was awesome with with all the things she's thankful for and read it out loud so it was such a family fun night and that's what i want to to tell here in this page so tell me in the comments what's your favorite thing about about Thanksgiving. If you are in the States, I'm sure you celebrate it. And it's a very fun holiday. If you're in Latin America, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Have you adopted this holiday in your country or, or is it not that popular over there? I would love to get to know some of you better. <laughs> so I'm just adding some adhesive here. I really like this one, the dotted adhesive. They are always my favorite. 
I have time to move things, and that's I think why I like them so much. If you would like to add even more dimension, you could pop this ones up a little. I'm thinking about doing that. For me, dimension is life. <laughs> and I just love popping everything up. Okay, so this is how everything's going. Okay, friends, I've decided to pop my hexagons up a little, a little more, and just like dimension better. So I'll be adding that there. I love the shadows it creates. So I'm going to go and pop them up, okay? If you wish to leave them without popping, that's totally, totally fine. That's the wonderful thing about these dotted adhesives. They let you take the elements off without any problem. That's why I really prefer dotted adhesive. Don't forget to leave a little thumbs up for this video if you're enjoying it. And if you're on on Gloria Scrap YouTube channel, please. I would love if you've subscribed. That way you don't miss any videos from me, okay? I'd love to have you there. It's been really, really fun to create content for you and to share my process and maybe inspire you a little. Okay, I've gone ahead and popped every, all of my hexagons up except the middle one. And I want to hear my, my title first. For this, I use my silicone mat here, and I add some extra adhesive, because usually these letters need a little more. You can also add some, some regular glue, your favorite glue. That works really good as well for chipboard. Maybe even better than double-sided adhesive, but I like my double-sided adhesive. If I need to move it, I can. So that's why I prefer that. But if you're sure about your title and ready to adhere it, you can go ahead and use regular craft glue. I was thinking of using this very thin strips of foam adhesive. These are 1A, if I'm not wrong. And I want to add them to my two word to my two letters, sorry, that will be no, here. So that way they are popped up and in the same level as my hexagon. Look at that. Yeah, I need a little more here at the top of my F. So if you have this collection, guys, the chipboard sheet is, sticker sheet is amazing. It has tons of beautiful elements. This is a very, very fun collection. I really hope you check it out. It's perfect for all your fall memories. You see that way it's almost at the same level. And you get that extra dimension. And just check out which ones will be layered up. And I love this. I really like the foam strips for this kind of things. They are super, super helpful. I don't want to need that one. So there it is. My family fun is layered up. Okay, guys, we have this beautiful Bella Pops in this collection that I'm just dying to use. I have those little pumpkins, flowers. Look at that cute little fox. But this turkey, I really got to use it. It was like the first thing that popped off this, this collection, and I knew I had to use it. So I have this little die cut, these apple cider die cut, and I want to layer a couple of these elements here and create my first embellishment cluster. Okay, I love this grit layout because I get to play with lots of embellishments and sometimes we really have tons of it and we need to use them and stop hoarding them and that's what I want to do with this Bella Pop pieces that I usually 
buy and hoard with every Bella Boulevard collection. This is a place where I would like to include my journaling. I was thinking I have this beautiful sticker sheet that I haven't used. I was thinking of adding something here and some journaling strips over here. I think I like that. And some other embellishments here in these three places. So let's look around. What speaks to me? Oh, I had some of this. I had this floral here. We had a beautiful arrangement that I was thinking of like cutting smaller maybe, but I like it like this. I'm gonna maybe add that floral on top. Now there's so many pieces that you can play with in this collection, so let's look around. Okay, friends, this is what I've come up with. I added my little Bella Pop here, some Bella Pop pumpkins over here. I added, I haven't adhered anything yet, but I've pinched my little leaves and created a little cluster there with pumpkins. I want to add my little teacup and vases. I'm not sure what those are called, but they remind me of cooking, kitchen, getting together with the family. And these will be my two little spaces to add some journaling and just to leave some space and not crowd it so much, okay? I was thinking of adding some little, little, little banner here. Maybe like that. I'm gonna add something there. Okay, so that's it. Let's start adhering and finishing up this fun fall layout. And, uh, so let me know what are your favorite traditions for Thanksgiving. What do you do with your small kids to, just to make this holiday special? Do they craft a lot with creating some turkeys? You can tell me. I'd love to know just to create something new and memorable this year. There it is. And now I need to add adhesive to the back here. Okay, friends, at last minute, I've decided to do something, and that's to cut one fourth inch of every side here. And I thought it really needed like something in the back to contrast, and I like it way better, okay? So I just went ahead and cut a fourth inch on all four sides, and I'm gonna be adding. Sorry for the noise. I will be adding some adhesive. Okay. It's really hard to add it. I think I'm going to add inside here. And that way I can have a red border on all four sides. And my layout will pop a little more, right? I think I like that way better. I've also went ahead and added like my little flowers here, puffy, puffy florals. And that adds some more red pop to my layout, okay? So I think that's it. I think I'm happy with this. I will just add my journaling there, maybe something here. And that's it guys, a very fun, easy layout to do with all those dies or punches that you have with shapes. And I love the end result. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for stopping by here at the Bella Boulevard YouTube channel. See you in the next video. This was Gloria Barra for Bella Boulevard. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.